OpenElm, the AI revolution driven by Apple. Were you aware that Apple is revolutionizing the field of artificial intelligence? In an unexpected twist, Apple, a company famous for its confidentiality, has unveiled OpenElm, its latest foray into artificial intelligence. Get comfortable and stay until the end to see all its features and mysteries. In the advancement of AI, OpenElm not only stands out for being open source, but also for its technical achievements. It is reported to be 2.36% more accurate than its previous model, and achieves this using only half of the pre-training tokens. This increase in efficiency and precision signals that Apple is making significant progress in AI with the intention of leaving a real mark on the market. At its core, OpenElm is a cutting-edge language model developed by Apple's team of researchers. It uses a method called layer scaling that optimizes the way parameters are used in the model architecture, allowing more efficient data processing and improved accuracy. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't done so yet. Let's continue. This is a big change from older models that distribute their settings uniformly across all sections, making OpenElm smarter and more flexible. The model has been trained using a wide range of public sources, such as texts from Stack Exchange, GitHub, Wikipedia, and others, adding up to billions of data points. Thanks to this exhaustive training, this model can understand and generate human-level text based on the input it receives. It also comes with a complete set of tools and frameworks for additional training and testing, making it very useful for developers and researchers. Now, what makes this model stand out is that Apple has decided to turn it into an open-source framework that can be used both for training and evaluating the model. Typically, companies simply provide the model weights and the necessary codes to run them. OpenElm goes further by including training logs, various checkpoints, and detailed settings for pre-training. This openness allows users to really see and replicate how the model was trained, helping everyone to conduct more open and shared research. To train the OpenElm model, some smart strategies are used to make the most of the computer power available. For example, although it uses fewer pre-training tokens than other models like MMO, it still manages to be more accurate. It does this by using smart methods like RMS norm to maintain balance and attention of grouped queries, which improves computer operation and increases model performance in benchmark tests. OpenElm has proven to be more accurate than other language models. For example, it is 2.36% more accurate than MMO, even though it uses half of the pre-training tokens. This success is due to a special technique called layer scaling that adjusts the settings in each layer of the model to improve its performance. The effectiveness of the model is also evident in several standard zero-shot and few-shot tasks in which OpenElm consistently performs better than other models. These tasks verify how well the model can understand and respond to new situations for which it has not been specifically trained, which is really important for the way it is used in the real world. Understanding how well AI models like this work in the real world is crucial, and that's why benchmarking is so important. Apple conducted a thorough performance analysis to see how it compares with other top models of this type. The tests help us see how fast and accurate the model is and provide developers and researchers with important information to further improve the model. Apple has made OpenElm work well in both the usual computer settings that use CUDA on Linux and in the type of Apple chips, showing that the model can be used in different ways. Tests have found that this model is more accurate than similar models like MMO, but it is a bit slower because it uses complex methods like RMS norm to check its calculations. This balance between being right and being fast is important for jobs where you really need to rely more on results than on quick responses. OpenElm has been tested on various hardware configurations, including Apple's M2 Max chip, demonstrating its efficiency and adaptability. Its open design allows precise adjustments in each part of the model, optimizing its performance. Although the use of RMS norm improves its accuracy, it can also slow it down. If you're enjoying the content, remember to like and subscribe. You would help us a lot. Apple's team of experts has in mind to implement modifications to increase speed without sacrificing accuracy. Their goal is for the model to be faster so that it can be applied to a wider variety of tasks. 
Apple subjected Open Elm to exhaustive tests, making it perform a series of tasks. From the simplest, it could carry out immediately to others more complex that required deeper thinking. It was subjected to rigorous tests in which it had to understand and respond to different questions, such as how we use AI in everyday life for things like digital assistance, data analysis, and customer support. The test also examined how well OpenElm performed with Apple's MLX framework. This framework allows running machine learning programs directly on Apple devices. By doing this, the need for cloud-based services is reduced, which is better for keeping user information private and secure. The detailed evaluation of the model showed that it is an essential part of the AI toolbox and provides a clear vision of what it can do and how far it can go. Apple made sure to test it in many ways and configurations to confirm that OpenElm is not only advanced, but also reliable and safe for different AI uses. Apple also facilitated the integration of the model into the current systems that developers use. They released a code that allows developers to adapt OpenElm models to work with the MLX library, which is part of Apple's machine learning configuration for its own chips. This makes it possible to use the model on Apple devices for tasks such as inference and adjustment, making the most of Apple's strong AI capabilities without the need to always be connected to the Internet. Running AI models directly on devices like phones and IoT devices is a big breakthrough. It is really useful when it is too complicated to keep communicating with a server processing data. Local devices respond faster and keep your personal information safe which is very important these days. Open Elm, with its smart use of limited resources, is ideal for developers who create AI applications, allowing powerful AI capabilities on everyday devices. It was tested in real situations, demonstrating its effectiveness in a variety of tasks and its adaptability to the needs of Apple users. Continuous efforts are being made to compare Open Elm, where it excels and where it could be improved. Sharing the results of the benchmarking is really useful for developers and researchers. It provides them with the information they need to make the most of the model's strengths and correct its weaknesses. Apple's new AI model, OpenElm, is a significant advance in the field. Its efficiency, precision, and flexibility surpass many older models. Apple is working to optimize it even further, which will benefit developers, researchers, and companies. By sharing their training and evaluation methods, Apple is facilitating research in AI. How do you think Apple's OpenElm AI model can impact the future of technology in everyday life? Leave us your opinion in the comments. If you like the content, don't forget to like and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to share interesting information. Thank you.